You know, tough in a football sense means the ability to absorb punishment, not take a backward step. Ned Noel Kelly had that ability, but being an old-fashioned Christian, he often took a leaf out of the Old Testament which said, an eye for an eye, which is another way of letting you know that Ned Kelly could throw a good punch if the need arose. But he essentially was a very clean player, and he built up a formidable reputation as an enforcer, a way betide the opponent who damaged one of Kelly's smaller teammates. Ned Kelly, are they as yes. tough today as they used to be in your day? Well, Rex, I believe they're as tough. I think uh, going back a few years, they never used to act as much, you know, for the penalty and things like that. But I, I would say they're uh, they're getting hit just as hard and uh, they're still getting up. So I'd say there's no doubt in my mind that these fellas are definitely as tough as we were in Edda. The game is hard now as it used to be? Well, I think it's more exposed to the public eye, Rex. I think no, uh, no matter what you do, uh, you know, it's shown on, t on camera. And um, as a result, it gets a lot more criticism, but I'm sure they're still getting away with the sneakies and, you know, the, you can beat all these sort of things. I don't think it's any tougher, but I, uh, but I do believe the players are still as tough. OK, well, you selected a, a group of players that you asked me to get out of our videotape highlights to show the viewers because you want to talk about the different ones. Now, here they are. Mm. Well, you'll see how often these big fellows meet, Rex. Uh, the likes of here, David Grant, meeting Kurt Sorensen head-on, you know, and when you talk about two tough players, well, those two fellows there must uh, come into the category of hard men. And uh, there's no doubt, although you run with the ball, and uh, it still hurts you as much as uh, when you're being tackled as when you're, when you're the tackler. And again, you'll see fellows like uh, Dane Sorensen, who I think is a, a very hard player, keeps taking it up and will never say die. Here's a spectacular well, one. There you are. There's the same fellas we've just been talking about again. Look at that. Look. Now that must, although David Grant flops on the top of Kurt Sorensen there, <laughs> you would think it never hurt him, but I'll guarantee it's shortened his win up just wind up. Here we see uh, John Harvey taken by Donnelly head on. You know, and of course, we haven't seen a lot of John Harvey this year, and Dallas has had his moments off as well, but he's a tough man, and both of them are. Olling, here, another player that's got to be as tough, but with ability with the ball, and I think that uh, it's all right being tough and being hard and, and a good tackler, but a player that can uh, not get offset and, and still play the game while all the biff and bash is on, uh, is a, well, I think he, he's a very valuable player. There you see Charlie Frith coming on the burst for South. He's a young, up-and-coming a hard man, I'd say. Uh, another hard worker. Here you see is uh, uh, Dane Sorensen and John Peake. Now, John Peake isn't a player of any great... Um, doesn't get a lot of publicity, does he? ...publicity or anything like that. But there, he, he's right underneath. And it doesn't matter how big and strong you are, Peak will always be on the scene. Another great player here, I think, is Paul Carney, as he's ups and downs during the year. But just watch what he does with the ball. You know, like he, he's, everybody's having a go at him, and look at this. And that's the end result. And while the, the wingers are flying down and, and getting all the pats on the back for trying the score, these are the guys that are trying to set it up in here. They Big call, Bruce Gibbs. They call it the engine room, don't they? That's right, and look at this, look. Now he wakes up and he can go on his own and over he goes. He's done a good job this year, uh, Gibbs. He, he's quite a good player. Big men, big strong men. And, of course, they knock the stuffing out of the smaller fellows. Here's Rod Morris. Personally, I think Rod Morris has had a fantastic year. He's, he's a tough man. Look at the sheer strength that comes out of this. And that's, you know, he's using a bit of ball sense and uh, with his uh, strength and ability to get rid of it. And as I say, Red, they're worth, uh, Rex, they're worth a million bucks in a team, that's fellow. Well, you're going to have to make a decision. Who, in your view, is the toughest man in Sydney contemporary rugby league? Well, we've just seen a hand, handful there, and it's very hard to put your finger on one, but I don't think I'd like to be running into Kurt Sorensen all day, and I wouldn't like him to be running into me, you know. Then again, Rod Morris, you never see anyone hold their hands up to him. He, he goes on with it a bit. So, uh, you know, that's... Pretty hard to pick, but I think I'd say Kurt Sorensen at this stage. Kurt Sorensen, the Kiwi. Yeah. Let me ask you this question. As a, and we'll use the term enforcer in your day, and I've already prefaced it by saying you were a tough but clean player, did you find that other players, because you had the reputation as the fastest drawer in the West, shall we say, the fastest gun in town, <laughs> other players wanted to see if they could take your mantle away from it? No, no, not until the, oh, probably the last year, I'd say. But uh, I probably got into more trouble... Uh, well, belting and biffing was when I was captain coach of Wests and we had a very small side, you know, and, and they're only babies. And, of course, I always, uh, being the captain coach, I used to try and father them as much as I could. could and uh, they used to tell me that fellas were giving them a sneaky biff, so I'd <laughs> unload one on them and try and straighten things up a bit, you know. But, however, uh, but I, I reckon I had more value out of players leaving me alone 
uh, than I did, fellas, trying to take it off. No, I'm all eternally grateful that I didn't play against you all that much, uh, and that you never laid one on me. You may have been trying, but you were never quick enough to catch me. Oh, Any truth in that? No, I never used to walk. I used to run. I used to pass you all the <laughs> That's time. That's a charming thing to say. <laughs> well, thanks, Noel Kelly, for coming no, on the show. Well, rugby